the purple gentian violet line runs exactly through the level of the occipital protuberance. The first two grids were above the occipital protuberance. I used a 0.9 millimeter punch at 1.7 millimeter spacing and a two pass technique. Now I'm applying the tensioner to the third grid down, and this one is completely below the occipital protuberance. Here I'm adding tumescent anesthesia. It's a combination of xylocaine, marcaine, and epi, very dilute. Now you can see that the robot has gotten its bearings from the tensioner. There's fiducials, those black squares that look like dominoes around the margins of the fiducial. What this does actually, the tensioner applies a significant amount of stretch to the skin to make it tense. And now we're going down to the fourth grid, or this is the second level below the occipital protuberance. Here we're going to do some feathering of the edges. So the spacing is increased now to two millimeters from 1.7. And we use a one pass technique instead of a two pass. You can see that it's below the occipital protuberance significantly. The way we get the patient in position is we uh, put a pillow in his chest to kind of flatten out his neck area. We tilt the headrest forward, and you can see by the wrinkles around his neck, his chin is tucked in all the way. And this just allows the robot to easily access the lower part of the back of the scalp. You don't want to go lower than this, or the size will become visible. 